lived in a safe part of town. A retired sheriff lives right across the street and a police officer two houses up. But that didn't stop thieves. Jim Sidelecki with tonight's burglaries and break-ins. Typically, I mean, they came up, rang the doorbell, nobody answered, and they said, okay, time to go. Todd Ploggy has a good idea how the burglary at his home in the Cherry Hill subdivision happened. What really concerns him, though, is how they knew to pick his house on the perfect night to strike. I mean, we've got someone here 24-7, you know, uh, all the time, day and night. It just happened to be the one time that we're gone that uh, this happened. And the reason why he was gone that night makes this burglary even more of a sucker punch. Yeah, I had, uh, was helping my parents out with the death of, our, of an aunt and, you know, trying to help out through that ordeal and to, to have it compounded with coming home to see that your house has been broken into is it's a, a real sinking feeling and, and you're going through a, a wide range of emotions already. Not too far from Todd's place, the Richland Park Apartments here off 117th and Burt. I spoke with a woman who had her place broken into last week. She says all of the usual items were stolen, the game system, the laptop, the TV, but also her roommate's shoe collection. Those high-end sneakers sometimes auctioned off on eBay. He had 60 pair worth thousands of dollars. They're all gone and they certainly didn't walk away on their own. In Omaha, I'm Jim Sidlecki, Channel 6 News. Well, you may remember.